Hi vlog and welcome back. For those that are new here, my name is Julia Nicole and I vlog, I show my life and all of that good stuff. But anyways, welcome. I'm so excited to have you all and guys, I have such exciting news to share because I'm doing some like life-changing transformation stuff. Basically what I'm doing is I am getting 360 lipo and a BBL. I am so excited! So I came to San Diego and I'm getting all of the surgery done soon and I basically wanted to show you what I packed for 360 lipo and a BBL on top of just like, you know, everything that you need to prep for, everything that you need and all that good stuff if you're ever getting into surgery and you need to know what to get, I got you. So this is a little overview of all my stuff that I'm going to show you. But basically, let's start off with the suitcase. So I kind of got this dry brush because I heard that you're going to be super itchy after surgery and you cannot scratch. So you need something kind of soft to kind of scratch your body with. I got some flushable wipes to clean myself. <laughs> this one's kind of funny, but I got a urinal. I have never really used one, so this is going to be so interesting. Because when you're wearing your faja, they have that zipper, right? and the zipper that zips all the way down and it opens everything up and so i'll have to squat in the toilet and use this oh my gosh i am not prepared for this but honestly i feel like it's going to be worth it i got dial i wanted to get another antibacterial wash but i could not find that cleanser so i had to go with dial which i heard works still and I got these gloves just, you know, to make sure I'm not getting anything dirty when I'm touching the incisions. I got hydrogen peroxide. I also heard that Dermoplast is really good too. And I honestly don't really know what to use it for. I think it's for the incisions, but I'm going to look into it a little bit more once I get my surgery. Aquaphor, because after you get your incisions for your lipo and BBL, you need to make sure they're always moist and never dry. So you have to be put, putting that on routinely. Got some tape to tape my bandages and my incision points with all the gauze. So I also heard that you're going to have like a hard time using the restroom. And so I got like a stool softener. I heard this one, Colace, is the best type. So definitely recommend this because I heard this really works. I'm hoping I don't have to use it because I'm pretty good about having to use the restroom. But because I drink so much coffee, but we'll see. And then the silicone tape, it really helps with your scarring and it just helps with really making your skin go back to normal after the surgery. So I'm going to use those on the incisions. Got gauze and then I just got a ton of band-aids. I was told that you should just get a bunch of things because, yeah, you never know what band-aid you're going to like best. So I got a bunch of small ones, big ones, needle sporn. And then I have a bunch of other things in this side that I'm going to show you right now. So on this side of the suitcase, I have a bunch of good stuff. All right, so the first thing, I don't know what this is. I found it at Whole Foods, and I think it's like scar cream. So I kind of got this. I don't know if I'll use it right this second, but I think I'm going to use it throughout my journey. And I got hand sanitizer. I got some vitamin C packets. And then I was like, people were saying to get, um, what is this called again? Yeah, the cough drops. I was like, why do you need cough drops? I'm not going to be like sick coughing. But apparently after surgery, you're really, really have a sore throat. So apparently that helps with a dry sore throat. I also got a thermometer just to make sure that I'm not like overheating or I'm not getting a fever because if not, then I definitely have to go to the hospital. So I definitely am checking on that. And Arnica, I never heard about Arnica until I started getting face filler and like lip filler this year. And apparently it's like an anti-bruising cream and basically you can take it in a pill form. Apparently I need a cream and a gel because I guess with the cream it kind of like is more of a moisturizer and it helps with bruising. So all the bruising that I'm going to get on my arms from lipo, my stomach, I'm going to use this cream. And gel too is like also like a topical treatment. I just got both because... I don't know which one's going to work better, so I just got both. <laughs> but it helps with the appearance of bruising and just helps you recover a lot quicker, um, more like physically instead of internally. And then I got 
turmeric tea i couldn't find arnica tea so i got turmeric got some vitamin e oil because you want to put that on your incisions your incisions are going to take months to kind of heal like even if the stitches are gone and stuff you're going to have that scar for a while so that's just going to help throughout the months to help lighten that scar i also got these arnica pills you put them under your tongue, they're like little tablets and they dissolve. And that really helps with bruising as well. So it helps like you can use this cream on the bruises on the outside of your skin. And then this helps with like internal bruising and helps prevent bruises when you're getting surgery. I also found this thing. Um, it's some ointment I found at Whole Foods. It just looked really good, wound care. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try this out. There's a few things that I'm like, am I even gonna use? but we shall see. <laughs> and then I got chapsticks. I always have dry lips and I need that, especially if I'm gonna be dehydrated. And I need to keep myself busy. So I've been hearing about Colleen Hoover for a while and I was at Costco getting some goodies for my BBL and lipo and I saw these books on sale and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this little series and read it. So I'm excited about that. I heard so many amazing things. So that's like in my main suitcase and then I'm going to show you guys the rest of the things that I also brought but I had to put like in a duffel bag. So I got a bunch of these bandages because I am getting arm lipo. I wasn't originally going to get arm lipo but one of my best friends that got the same surgery she was like girl you need to get this because arm lipo makes a difference and I was like alright so these bandages help with arm lipo and the recovery and then I got Tylenol. This actually should be in this area. But yeah, so this is going to really help tighten my arms because I didn't buy an arm faja. So hopefully that helps. So I bought these shower curtains. I know it's so random, but because I'm staying in a hotel in this super white bed, I did not want to bleed all over. So shower curtains apparently... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I burped. Um, okay, so shower curtains really help because it helps line the bed. So I'm not like bleeding on this like hotel and they charge me up the ass for it. So hopefully that works. I had to get two just in case. I have no idea how to use these, but apparently you put these foams inside your faja and I ha you have to cut them and all this stuff. And honestly, I'm, I hope my doctor teaches me a little bit more about it. I just saw it on the list. So I had to get these. And I am also supposed to get ab boards and back boards. But I'm going to buy that at the clinic rather than purchase on Amazon. Because I heard that if sometimes they're too hard, they're uncomfortable. So the clinic probably has the soft ones. And then I got electrolytes, which I should be drinking tonight because, oops, my surgery is actually tomorrow. <laughs> and I wanted to film this before I'm all jacked up and beat up. <laughs> and then liquid IV, I have a few of these because I work th with them currently. So I have a bunch of these packets left over and I'm going to use these. But a lot of people buy some form of like basically electrolytes before their procedure and after just to kind of hydrate themselves and whatnot i found these at costco too and i was like this is perfect when i need to drink a bunch of water after because apparently you have to drink a half a gallon of water every day to kind of like you know make sure you're hydrated so those are perfect and then <laughs> For this part oh my gosh I was kind of embarrassed buying this but I had to buy diaper underwear because you know you'd be leaking everywhere and the diaper just helps like I'm not gonna use the restroom in the diaper because that would be like unsanitary but it helps with like the bleeding area and the butt area and stuff and then I got pads as well in case I don't want to wear the diaper and I just put the pad in the faja and then so these are like my foams. This is my BBL pillow. It's called a thigh pillow. It's basically when you're like in your car, when you're sitting down, you cannot sit down with a BBL for a few months on the butt. So you have to use a pillow and it basically, you sit on your thighs and then your butt kind of hangs under and then the back pillow helps so like you have that. So let's think of this as a chair. You have the BBL pillow, thigh pillow. Then you have the back pillow so then you'll be leaning on that and then your butt will be here and it'll be elevated like it won't be touching fully so that really helps keep the pressure off your butt and then i heard that if you have oops i heard that if you have like you know your little airport airport um pillow head rest apparently this is nice for the face because you have to lay on your stomach for a while so if you put your face right here apparently it helps cushion your face and stuff so i was like you know what let me try that out 
but that's pretty much all the supplies right now that I got. I got a bunch of other stuff like loose t-shirts and a bunch of other goodies, but so far I still have to pack up a few other things and buy some things at Costco tomorrow. Like I need a blanket because I don't want to mess up the hotel blanket. I also need... Honestly, I need to look at my list, but there's a few things that I totally forgot to bring from Vegas because I'm originally from Vegas. Like, I live there now. Originally from SoCal, actually, but I live in Vegas, so there were some things I just couldn't bring in my car. I just had everything so packed. It's like a week trip, so yeah, and I'm so excited. That's just a little bit of pack with me for my BBL, and I didn't know if I wanted to make this video or not because I don't know who's going to see it. But honestly, I wanted to make it for those that really are looking into getting 360 lipo and a BBL and just kind of like what you need and just the goodies and all that stuff. But other than the stuff I showed you, definitely get like a bunch of just like black sweatpants and shirts and things that are baggy because you're going to be bleeding through things your first week and you don't really want to like wear nice clothes and all that stuff. But tonight I have to... I have to shower, I have to shave everything, like all my body. I have to wash myself with that antibacterial soap because you have to be like super clean and like you can have any fragrance on you and all that good stuff. So I'm really, really nervous because I'm getting an awake BBL lipo. So oh, wish me luck, but I'm so excited and I cannot wait to show you guys my journey. I'm going to be vlogging so much of my journey and I just am really excited to share, share everything with you guys. But this is just a little video and I hope you guys enjoyed and I love you all so much and stay tuned for the BBL reveal.